Well, hello, people. Smash Keys here playing it's another space map, right? But this time, it's not galactic science. It is space astronomy. A mod pack by MGR Legends. So, you'll probably think it's been a long time since galactic science and me, your humble monkey astronaut, space, space kateer, astro, as, as, Kateer, Askateer, your humble monkey is back. Probably wondering what happened. Well, I left my home, the moon, got myself a spaceship, a working one this time, you know, one that was capable of interstellar flight. And just like that movie Interstellar, I flew around. Flew around all over the known galaxy, basically only three other planets. But then I passed a little bit too close to a black hole. All right? A little bit of time dilation. Time has passed. I, I ended up getting out of the black hole. But hey, guess what? Time has passed. I don't know how much time. Because, you know, we don't have that kind of technology at the Smash Keys Aeronautics and Space Administration. So we don't know how much time has passed. But as I was coming back to my home, the moon, I saw the Earth was healed. Completely healed. There's grass, there's trees, but a lot of things have changed so this is obviously our new home on the old earth but we're going to name it after our old home so it's going to be uh oh stupid sticky keys on time it's going to be called luna nova right like terra nova but it's new moon right game mode survival we got a, a biomes of plant there's a bunch of them default super flat large biomes amplified don't really have a beefy computer, so let's ignore that one. And biomes are plenty. Done. Well, let's get a seed going, just in case anyone wants to play along with me, right? So smash keys is a seed done. Hopefully it's a good one, right? Create new world. And BRB, after the world loads in. All right. Whoa, a little bit of fireworks, a little bit of fanfare landed on our new home. Okay. I already kind of messed with the map, so it's in the standard facing. It's, oh, hey, a village right there. Beautiful. So this is, oh, hey, look, we're in the biome bio. Day zero, 6 a.m., biome bio, bio, light, 15, experience, nothing. You got no experience, which is a little strange. Oh, well, I should fix my skin. That should be the thing that I fix next, right? Because my neck, my neck's hanging out. Oh. Industrial hemp seeds, eh? How's that? So, a uh, lot of new things in this mod. I just skimmed through all the, the giant mod list of mods that is available to me. A lot of stuff I like. Not a lot of magic, which is good. So it's going to stick close to what we had before on Galactic Science. It is an HQM mod pack, right? Welcome to Space Astronomy. This quest book is designed to help you along the world and will help you follow the required steps to explore the universe. If you have any problems with the quests, then please report them to the link provided in the mod packs description or you can find it in the main menu. So hopefully if I remember, I will leave all the, the pertinent information there. Or like a temple over here. So a lot of them can't get that. A lot of new stuff, right? A lot of new mod. Tangible, you probably can't read that because it's so tiny. Tangible energy. Sure enough, you have found places where crystal energy has coalesced and formed regular glassy formations. Ones that radiate the effects of their element. I'm getting an effect. Ooh, water breathing. That's kind of neat. Huh? So what are you. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Nah, uh, we'll come back to that. So this is a chromic lexicon. Oh, that's not gonna get old at all. Hmm. We'll figure all this stuff out later. Figure it out in post. But, a lot of new stuff. The... Nova Nova Luna or Luna Nova 
is brand new. Time has passed, possibly a billion years. Ten billion years. Because, you know, that's how black holes work, right? You sit in a black hole and you go forward into the future. Can't go back, right? This is probably from some super advanced polar bear civilization that evolved and built zappy pyramids for some reason. So I want wool. Oh, these tinkling noises. This is going to drive me nuts. So the quest book. should take a peek at that. Getting started. Get wood. Okay, I'm going to punch down a tree, I guess. What is this? This gently glowing flower seems to weakly radiate energy if extracted. Its contents likely are crucial in maintaining an aura. Let's try not to break anything we don't know. Might not be able to get it back. Alright, let's chop this tree down real quick. So yeah, uh, I took a quick peek. It has all the mods I like. Open blocks, extra utilities, ender IO, uh, thermal expansion. We got galactic, galactic craft in here. Just all the good stuff, right? So we're going to be happy. It's going to be a long, long world. Okay, I got wood. No, I need more wood. Okay, it's going to chop down another tree. Hello, cows. My friends, is that oil or... Let's take a peek. Nope, not oil. Oh, oh I'm being withered. Oh, it was a uh, sludge, in case you didn't know. MFR is also in this, as you might be able to imagine. Actually, while we're chopping this tree down... Actually, no, I can't do two things at once. I'm crazy. Oh, Tinker's Construct, obviously. Oh, come on, tree. As you can see, Slime Island up there. I got any more saplings from that whole endeavor? No? Okay. And get a quest. Uh, cobblestone. Beautiful information. Welcome to the Space Astronomy Mod Pack. This book will give you some tips and information that will be helpful throughout your journey around the universe. The quest book has been redesigned and is a, and is more of a quest line. All the quests will start off invisible except the first quest. After completing a quest, the quest book will unlock the next quest and could open a new section. When traveling to planets via the, via the solar system, use the WSAD keys to move around, which will allow you to have access to all of the planets. Normal Minecraft tools have been nerfed, so use Tinker's tools via the quest book. Be sure to follow the quest book closely. Have fun exploring the universe. Semicolon, capital D. Beautiful. Make a furnace. Craft a furnace and collect 20 coal ore. And build a Tinker... Well, let's read it. And build some Tinker stuff. Alright. Fair enough. So let's head over here to this little village. See if, uh... They're future people. If evolution has... No, hello. Apparently it's it's taught the villagers railcraft, which is a good little mod. Got anything in here? Ooh. Oh my god. Well, I'm beautiful. Look at me. Like a regular time trap. Hello. Oh my goodness. Their heads have evolved to store their increased craniums and their noses to smell better or they look the same yeah they they look the same emeralds versus no emerald oh, i don't got emerald oh hello this is the tinker stuff uh for the most part it's standard tinker stuff i mean they do add new things every once in a while with the tinker tinker stuff like i have no idea what this is yeah, no idea. Last time I played Tinkers, they didn't have this stuff. Oh, what is this? Disposable track. Oh, disposal track. That's kind of cool. There's a salt. Me mechanisms in this. So basically every single one of the... Hello? The real... Oh, and uh, Hats is in this one. Yep, he's wearing a, he's wearing a beautiful, beautiful Afro hat. Anybody got wool in here? What the hell is this? Hello? Wouldn't store. Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't touch all of the things. 
Oh, can I make, actually, can I use this to make shears? Beautiful. Borrow this. Oh, is this, can you? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just gonna borrow this. Just for a little bit, because you're not gonna, you know, you won't mind, right? No. There we go. I didn't get it all. Come on. And then, um, come there back, maybe? There we go. Beautiful. So I am super, super excited as to the, the, the sheer number of mods that is in this. Nothing magical, which I'm kind of happy about. I think I'm just going to live here for a little while. Oh, I didn't mark off spawn. I always forget to mark off spawn. There's another one of these things. I feel like they're everywhere. The future people who are also the past people, you know, because that's how time works, right? I went so far in the future that everything is old. Everything old is new and new is old, right? Is that how that works? All right. Actually, no. You know what I should do right in a second? Probably do some tinkering. Tink, tink, tinkering. So I need that. Uh, I think that's basically all I need. Oh, hello. Need a crafting station. Let's just set up shop right here. All right, settle down. Settle down now. Okay, I need uh, one of these. Bam. So I need one of these as well. So Tinker's Construct. Why am I doing this all wrong? Tinker's Construct, if you haven't played before, is a great little mod that basically just makes all the tools real fun. Real fun. Let's see if these upgrade though. Can we uh, claim a word? Beautiful. Anton. Oh, you know what I should make real quick before I forget? It's a bed. So Tinker's Construct, great little mod, great little mod, adds a whole bunch of stuff, including that those, uh, it's like a black crafting big old tool thing over there. You probably know everything about Tinker's. Just all the stuff. You can make customizable tools, right? So you can use all, there's different, there's different tools and each tool is made out of different parts and each part can be made out of different materials. So you can make a glass sword and iron axes and diamond things just adds a little bit more to the whole uh, adds a little bit more to the whole tool system so you're not just working towards an enchanted diamond set of tools right so tool station there part builder there what's next on the quest list make some patterns make a uh, tool rod tool binding basically the picks for standard tools so that's fine pop this in here one of these, one of these, one of these, one of those, one of these. And you know what? While we're here, can we make a sword? Is this a sword blade? Yeah. Done. Creating wooden parts. Okay, so these can all go in there. This is like the, the standard chest. Is it getting night already? Let's go see. Beautiful. And we'll just set our spawn to this place. Beautiful. Uh, I might need more wood, but maybe it'll give me more wood as a quest. So you have the part builder. I'll make a pickaxe head. Bam. A pickaxe binding. Bam. And then a pickaxe handle. Bam. Done. Craft a wooden pickaxe. All right, okay. Well. Uh, there we go. Wooden pickaxe. Beautiful. Ah, reward. And it gives us another pattern chest. Did I have to? See, didn't need to make a pattern chest. That's okay. That's fine. So I need the same thing but stone air thing. Hmm. One, two, three. Do I have enough stone? I probably do. Okay, so let's do this. One. Two. Three. It didn't want me to do the... Yeah, it wanted me to do the handle as well. That's stupid. Huh? And finally... Hey, beautiful. And because I'm not crazy... 
do this and this just to show again probably old hat for all y'all all you people right do i can i manual detect did i not make a stone one i did you make three out of your mind one two three claim beautiful okay when making a tool let's just do the pickaxe this is what it kind of wants you to do right durability 65 mining speed 4 mining level 3 modifiers remaining 3 so that means i can build this it'll have you know 65 durability it's fairly fast but then you can come along and you can add other things to it after it's already built you're like oh i want it to go faster you add redstone oh i want it to be more lucky you add lapis and it these books tell you everything about it all the things but one of the things I found out really quick is if you start messing around with the different materials, so okay, so wood is actually better because it makes the durability higher. And wood does nothing. So maybe I'll leave it as stone just because it looks a little bit cooler. Hmm. I'll leave it stone just because it looks a little bit nicer. Hey, beautiful. Now, while I'm here, can I... Oh, you know what? Can I do this? Can I just go like this? Will you just accept a stick? You will. Beautiful. And beautiful. All right. Is that the quest? And it wants me to get a bunch of clay, gravel, and sand to build the next step, which is fine. And then getting started. Oof. Okay. It wants me to kill a bunch of animals. It wants me to start a farm. All right. Okay. And still doing the... the furnace thing so i can make a fur no can't make a furnace. oh yeah i can make a furnace look at me go beautiful there we go should mark this off so hitting b house home there we go bam so i think i need to do a little bit actually hey can i just steal your stuff yeah i can let's not have that four five six seven eight nine ten Done and done. Hey, gardener. Manual detect. No? Did I not get ten? No. Ta-da. Seriously? Come on now. Let's head over here. So I need to run around and myrtleize a bunch of cows, a bunch of pigs, and a bunch of sheep. Oh, that's a potato. I don't care about potatoes. Come on now. There we go. That's good enough. craft -o -matic. Okay, well. Do I have any wood? Yes. That should be enough. So the matic is a version... It's like a hoe, basically. It's, it's like a... Kind of a digging, chopping, hoeing tool. Not much for uh, digging or chopping sand or gravel, though. So it's not it's not a thing that will completely replace all your other tools, you know? Still gotta have all your favorite tools. There we go. Matic. Is that it? Craft ten pieces of bread. Hmm. Well, I'll be right back, actually, because we're, we're, we're about halfway. Halfway, if I do a little bit of cutting. So let me get a bunch of stuff. Let me go... Let me make some bread. Let me go dig some coal. Let me go find some animals, and let me go maybe dig some gravel and sand. All right? Okay. See if I can find it. All right. BRB. All right. So need thirty for ten. So that should be good. Uh, starting farm. Ooh. Get a watering can. Oh, that's gonna be useful. That's gonna be super useful. Uh, killing for food. Hmm. I should empty out some of my inventory. I'm full all of a sudden. So I need some of this. There we go. Get rid of all that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pick one. Beef, pork chop, or reward bag. Let's claim the reward bag. Beautiful. Ooh. Uh, I get oxygen and uh, liquid oxygen. Well, that's useful. Oh, 
if I'm going to go back to space, which I am going to back going to do, right? This thing grew again. I chopped this down. There's a chromatic craft tree. It drops uh it drops Vuhubu gods saplings. It drops cocoa beans and it drops this which you can use to make more cocoa beans. So what I'm willing to bet, because it's chromatic craft, if I go chop that thing down, it's going to give me gray dye. Or white dye. Or bone meal. Okay, back to the quests. Uh, made a bed, so I guess sleeping bag is a reward. Beautiful. These are really useful stuff. It's really good stuff. Got 20 coal, get more coal. Beautiful. Uh... I need to collect a lot of ore. Mm. As you can tell, not not getting a lot of ore. Okay, getting rubber. I need to go chop down a rubber tree. We will go on an adventure. Go find a rubber tree. Um, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds. Ooh, I think I just need to find a melon seeds. I think I saw pumpkins over there, but I didn't really care for them. Automatic farming. Okay, that's pretty easy. More rubber stuff, right? Planting, harvesting. Okay, uh, tools and weapons. Done. No? Craft 120 grout. Dang it. Okay, how I make... It's like this. And then it's like four. And then it's like this, right? Bam. Well, hmm. Man... Okay, well, let me let me start cooking what I got. Actually, you know what? I should just use six, seven. Let's use some coal. I can't really see myself getting a lot of coal anytime soon, right? Go eight of these. Let's make another one. Might as well. Might as well. Uh, let's put you right here. And actually, let's light up up here because it's probably gonna. Okay, so I need that, and I need some more coal, please. Beautiful. There. Now, while that's cooking up, okay, oh, and I get cold. Oh, beautiful, even better. Look at me go. That happened twice. Building a smeltery, I need 120 bricks. So that's probably what these are going to be. Okay. Oh, here come mobs. So I can go back to sleep. So I might go back to sleep. Uh, let me go actually go chop down some rubber trees. Maybe look for a melon really quick while these cook. Hopefully. Maybe I should sleep first. That'd be smarter. Beautiful. Now I have a sleeping bag. Oh, Jesus. It's the scariest thing ever. Somebody just walked outside my window carrying a lamp. But just the whole the whole silhouette was very, was very startling. Easily startled. All right. Seared brick is cooked up. Went for a walkabout. Couldn't find my pumpkins. Couldn't find any melons. Couldn't find any rubber trees. So all this stuff between this episode and the next episode, hopefully... Going mining, still need to dig a bunch of stuff, but I was actually just pawing through all the the lists over here, and uh, there's actually diamond, no, diamond, aroma, there we go. There's this mod, which I haven't played for in a long, long time. Portal frame, stone bricks, mining multi-tool, mining multi-tool is a... Stone pickaxe, flint and steel, cracks, well, just stone, and another stick. You get a mul mining multi-tool. Dimensional changer, this is a kind of like a... So there's this mining world dimension. And so, hopefully... Um, I mean, we could probably go there right now. Yeah, we'll probably go there real soon. So this mining world dimension, as it's called... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Mm, let's do 16. That's plenty. So this mining dimension, as it's lovingly referred to, is a 
exactly what it sounds like. Just like a beautiful, beautiful little little mining dimension. Oh. It's a beautiful little mining dimension. So we're definitely going to go there. But let's cash in this quest. Of course it's not done. Why would it Why would it not be done? So we need some glass. Do we have any? Uh, yeah, we have. Well, let's do all 16. Probably going to need it anyway. All right, so mm, need the the drain, need a controller, need a table, need a basin, need a spigot, and then once I got a piece of glass, need a tank. Is that right? Did I do enough? Beautiful. Craft twenty-two seared bricks. Okay. Um. Please be twenty-two. Yes. Just enough. Beautiful. And I get five buckets of lava. Hmm. Guess we need to make a tinker's chest. Is that seriously all tinker stuff? All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and then claim reward. Okay. So we should definitely get this set up to triple our... Yeah, let's do that right now. Let's go steal some from over here. There. Do I not have any cobble? Cobble? Why? Why am I just putting that up with garbage? Okay. I'm taking that chest. So we're gonna oh, we're gonna steal the parts from this thing over here, which they don't need. Do you guys? You guys don't need this, right? Oh, hello. There we go. So I'm going to break this down and set it up the way I want it to. Actually, you know what? Should we use this one? Nah. Let's make our own. Let's make a better one. All right. So, built it unnecessarily. Huge 4x4. Four four, because, you know, I had that stuff over there. It can actually smelt a stack of ore at once. But let's smelt... None of these, normally I set up two or even three of these things so I can automate it without them connecting, without them touching. But iron shouldn't mix with copper and aluminum, and copper and aluminum, uh, copper and aluminum I do want to mix. So what are we doing? Well, next step is I want getting upgraded tools. So with the tool forge, it's the step up from the tool station. You can make a lot more tools, particularly the hammer. Nope. The e-hammer. The hammer, as you can see. And the excavator, as you can see. And the axe, as you can see. The, the lumber axe. And what those are is the next step up from your standard pick, shovel, and axe. The lumber axe will chop down an entire tree. You just kind of have to, tick, 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 and the entire tree will come down. It's kind of like um, tree capitator or any kind of other. Oh, that's so much! Like, look at that. Look, there we go. So let's make some metal. It's kind of like tree cap tree capitator. The excavator will dig a three by three area, three by three by one area, and same thing with the the hammer it'll do a three by three by one area of say stone right so that's what i want because next we're going to go to how much is going to be in here do i need more iron i probably need more iron because for the next step up uh tool forge oh you make it out of different things you make it out of Oh, you can make it out of whatever you have the most of. That's kind of cool. Back when I was doing this, it was you could only do it out of iron. So you can make it out of emeralds. Oh, that's kind of, that's like just a cool textural thing. How much iron do I have? I don't have enough. Hmm. Will I have enough once this melts? Please tell me yes. You know what I should do? Oh, it'll make it'll make steel. Sometimes, ooh, do I have aluminum? Come on, melt. And that is enough. Beautiful. With one left over to make a single ingot. Mm. So what do I need? I need this. I need two of these. Right? I need a stick. 
two sticks. Should be plenty. I need a flint and flint and iron. Please be enough. I need three of these blocks. Dang it! Well, guess where I know I can get them. One. So now I can't quite do a full one, but that's okay. So I have two iron ingots in there. And I want a mold. Of course, I don't have what I need. Mm, you. Beautiful. So aluminum brass can make... Aluminum brass and actually gold as well can do it. But it makes molds. See? Send it back to iron. And I have this lovely little iron mold. Well, lovely little mold, which I can then use to make... Oh, I don't know. Any other thing. Okay, so I needed a stone. Like so. Okay. Need a stick. Need a pick. Need a flint. Is that right? Beautiful. And now I need... Um, I need... 10. Right? Because that's the standard portal. Um... I'm just going by memory here. Hopefully this works. Okay, let's uh, let's place this down over here somewhere, right by the ocean. Two. Can I pick this back up? I should have should have thought about this. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. So the mining dimension, if I remember correctly, which I'm not saying I am. The mining dimension is a kind of a, a peaceful flat world with a whole bunch of spot oh to sneak through the portal you just have to go in go in and sneak so i think yeah i'll just i'll just leave all my stuff here hello hello f7 yep everything can spawn um, so let's just dig out. Can't really see it. Did I bring a torch? I did. We should hopefully be very close to the surface. Maybe. I can hear dinglings. Because the surface shouldn't be too much higher. I thought it was a flat world around 65. I might be wrong. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's dig a little bit further, and if this is not the case, then I'll just... Oh, I heard a chicken. Heard a chicken. Yep, there they are. So we're getting close to the surface. And once we're up here, you will see the glory of the mining biome. Seriously, come on. Oh, yeah, there it is. Maybe? I'm just using my shovel. Nope, not a shovel, but you'll still work. There we go, beautiful. Oh. Huh? Beautiful. And this is kind of a... Oh, can we map? What's that? What's that over there? Is that in that direction? Oh, it's just an orange tree. So there's all sorts of things here for you to run around and do and dig and mostly... What the heck is that? A rainbow tree. So I have played with this mod before. So what I will need to do now... Ooh, let's head back home, actually. Come on now. I don't think mo mobs can spawn in this dimension. That's one of the parts that makes the mining dimension so good. So good. I have a lot of dirt. Fill this in. This is going to drive me nuts. There we go. Maybe make it look a little bit nicer. Beautiful. Looks good to me. Hey. All right. So let's make the next thing we have to make. Uh, which is a thing there. Iron there. And three seared bricks. Boom. Claim reward. Got a whole bunch of metal. Beautiful. Beautiful. And what did that unlock? Make. See? It's helping us along. 
So maybe actually, hmm, maybe between this episode and the next episode, I will go for a little bit of a dig, get these built up, but more importantly, get this built up, maybe uh, get some iron and stuff, or get some, some of this stuff going. Just get resources, not do a lot of quests off camera. Oh, hey, but wait. Got a bunch of little, <laughs> got a bunch of hats from killing, uh, killing mobs. I like that one. Hmm. Yeah, not a hat kind of guy, but I am a schnazzy glasses kind of guy. Well, thank you for watching my first day in Luna Nova, right? Our new home away from home. Space, space is gone. Space is behind us. Where's the moon actually? Where is it? There it is. Ruined because of a update, right? So, this is going to be... I'm going to fix my skin between this episode and the next episode as well. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and you have yourself a nice day.